Hello and greetings from Campbell Law. I'm standing here today in a largely empty building after the strangest year. In February, we had remarkable programming during Black History Month. We brought some of the Central Park Five here to talk about their experiences in being falsely charged and incarcerated, and it was a, a law school full of vibrant discussion. If it goes to the middle, okay, that's better. We moved on to uh, dedicate our entrance sculpture. I'd been worried for some time that we are beginning to be a little building in the middle of many big buildings and wanted something to mark our place on Hillsborough Street. And we did that with the fabulous sculpture preponderance done by Thomas Sayer. And if you haven't come by the law school to see that, I would invite you to do it. And then March came. And with the pandemic, uh, we were told to take our completely in-seat law school online in 72 hours. It was quite the weekend. But by Monday, we had managed to do it. The first days were not all that pretty, but we settled in and we finished out the semester successfully. I am proud to announce that the end of the year uh, was very different uh, for the class that graduated. Our formal graduation was canceled. We did our awards virtually. And I actually persuaded my faculty and staff to uh, join together to sing a song for our graduates, the fabulous old Carol King song, Way Over Yonder, about how today's not so great, but better days are coming. Uh, it was a great hit, and it's still on YouTube, and I invite you uh, to go look. That was great. Peyton and Chamberlain, you are now proud graduates of Campbell Law. And I felt so badly that our graduates were getting uh, their graduation taken away from them. I agreed to do in-person graduations, one family and one student at a time in our ceremonial courtroom to mark their exit from Campbell Law. And I did about 75 of those. This is where we clap. During the summer, the horrible murder of Mr. Floyd in Minnesota took place. We issued a very strong statement expressing our horror at how black people had been treated in this country and our collective commitment to making sure that those incidents are things of the past, that we train our students to make sure our society does become a fair place for all of our citizens. The bar exam uh, was itself quite a struggle. There was a great deal of controversy about whether it could be given safely in person. I took the view that it could, others disagree. But it was given in person uh, without any incident. There was no COVID case that was actually traced back to the bar exam. And remarkably, our students came out with a 93% pass rate, the highest since 2012, having studied under the most difficult circumstances you can imagine. We brought in a vibrant and huge class in August. Many of you who've come here in the last eight years know that the Campbell Court Crawl, where we walk to all of the six adjacent courthouses to the law school, is a part of our orientation tradition. Couldn't do that entirely this year, but two of the courts, the U.S. Bankruptcy Court and the state uh, trial courts agreed to still participate. So our incoming students at least got a taste of how rich their experience would be here at Campbell Law because of where we happen to be located. We spent all summer meticulously planning for a safe return of our students this fall. We had very severe restrictions on the size of populations in rooms and we quickly realized we didn't have enough classrooms. I looked out the window and realized the Episcopal Church next door had a huge fellowship hall, and we leased it to be our second large classroom. We got through the semester remarkably safely. Our advocacy program that was one of our hallmarks of our law school continued uh, in full force, but all virtual. And we were very successful. We won the Hofstra Medical Legal National Competition again this year for the second year in a row. And we also won the regional uh, negotiation competition. And that team will proceed to the national championship uh, this semester. 
I'm happy to say, even at the end of this strange year, the law school has never been in a stronger position. But we're here because we count on the vibrant support from our alumni and our donors. So I would encourage you, to the extent that you can show your love for this place, uh, let's do it this year. We're all tired. We're all webbed out, we're zoomed out, uh, and we're ready for a break. And I encourage you to take one. Cloister close with your loved ones, be safe, and we will ride this through and see better days ahead. Happy holidays from Campbell Law.